Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking From My Couch, where I show you delicious recipes that are so easy you can literally make them sitting down. The real reason I'm sitting here is that my big bright windows are in the living room, so I want to make sure that the video has the best lighting for you guys. So, what we're making today is a dish called Ramdan, aka Japaguri. It's a Korean instant noodle dish that was made popular by the Oscar winning picture Best. It's a Korean instant noodle dish that was always popular and it's made by combining two dishes Japaguri, you'll notice this is not Japaguri, I'll get to that later, and Neuguri. So, Japaguri is a spicy black bean noodle. Um, I could not find japagetti here, so I'm using a different brand of Korean jajang instant noodles. So jajang are black bean noodles. And then this is neoguri. It's a spicy seafood udon. And what makes ramdan in particular different, as you may have watched in Parasite, if you've seen it, you know what's going on. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Go watch it. But um, they take what is typically this really cheap, instant noodle dish and they elevate it because in the movie the family that requests this dish is very rich um, they elevate it by adding hanu which is basically the Korean version of Wagyu it's super marbled super expensive so it's kind of this juxtaposition and a big theme of the movie this juxtaposition of something ultra rich on something that's typically ultra cheap so I am not going to be using Hanwu or Wagyu or whatever. I want to show you guys a more affordable way to make this dish. So I'm using just regular steak. This I think is actually even chuck. So chuck is one of the cheaper cuts of meat. It would probably be even better if I used like a sirloin or a ribeye, but I was basically mostly going for, you can see this steak has a good amount of marbling. That's what I personally wanted. And one of the things that is crucial to do ahead of time in my opinion, is to season your steak. So if you can season your steak, and this is any time you make any kind of steak, season it at least 30 minutes before you start cooking it. And um, what this does is because you're going to first allow it to get to room temperature, um, and then you're going to season the steak, it starts to draw out some of the moisture, and you'll end up with just a much more juicy steak by doing this. And you'll also get a really nice caramelization on the, the crust of the steak. So we're gonna cut it into one inch pieces, you know, bite-sized pieces basically. We're gonna just season it very generously with salt. Get it on all sides and that's good. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll continue this video. The salt on the steak is the bare minimum of what you really need to do. You can just season it with salt and pepper, but we're gonna take it to the next level and we're actually going to coat it in mirin and some sesame oil. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is gonna be so delicious. I'm actually going to be filming an Instagram live with my Instagram followers. So the latter part of this video, I'm actually gonna be doing the cooking demo live. I'm gonna position my phone like here-ish and film myself so that my followers, um, hopefully it's one of you, can watch this video. So all you have to do to start is boil your noodles. And so when you open up the packets, Obviously there's your noodles. And then it also comes with all this extra stuff, like a piece of seaweed. This is gonna go in with your noodles. The seasoning, seasoning you wanna save for later. And then it has these like dehydrated vegetables. So these are also gonna go in with your noodles. And then for the black bean noodles, hello. And then for the black bean noodles, um, yeah, this serves two because you're going to use two packets of noodles. Um, I mean, it could serve one, you know, I'm not judging. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the black bean noodles. And this particular brand has like a sauce packet. If you use chapaghetti, I believe it comes with a seasoning packet like this. And then it also comes with like a little oil packet. So, you know, whichever one it's going to 
come out with pretty similar flavors, so just use what comes with it. So this I think is, this is boiling. So I'm gonna throw the noodles in, you can see. So one thing with the sodium, obviously any instant noodle dish is gonna have pretty high sodium, but um, if you wanna minimize the sodium, the neoguri or the spicy seafood noodle soup, it's meant to be consumed in broth, water, right? So the flavor is gonna be super concentrated. So we're gonna just use half the packet. If you're worried about sodium levels, then you can obviously go more or less on this packet. So we're just gonna, so next to me. Can you sw switch this? Uh -huh. So I have my little induction burner here. So we're gonna just make sure that our noodles get through. Black bean is a little bit bitter. Um, I believe that if I mean if you were to make it from scratch, it would be a lot less bitter. But if it's a fam if it's a flavor you're not familiar with, try it out. I think that the bitterness gets a little bit um, subdued by the woo steamy by the spicy seafood. But again. These are cheap instant noodles normally. If you can go and support a local Asian supermarket near you, you can find these for like less than a dollar. So these dishes, this dish is really cheap. The only thing that's more expensive is the beef. So in the movie, um, it's kind of a funny thing because, oh, Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, so you, got, you want to cook the noodles for four minutes. Um, wait, Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Second timer, three minutes. Okay, Starting so on. yeah, I already started putting these in, so we'll do three minutes, because the great thing about these noodles, you'll see that unlike normal instant noodles, the neoguri in particular, they're kind of like thicker. So what you're gonna end up with are these nice, chewy noodles. I'm actually not gonna add an egg. That You can definitely add an egg. Um, Oh my god, I'm sorry. Wow, Alexa, you need to stop listening to everything we say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, um, I'm i not going to add an egg just to keep it similar to what they did in the movie. But you know what? That's the beauty of cooking. You can literally do whatever you want. It probably doesn't have to be spicy seafood. If you have like a shin ramen, that's I believe spicy beef. But the spice is going to be really delicious compliment to this. While that's cooking, we have a little bit of time. I just wanted to kind of see how you guys all are. I know that the world is like on lockdown. I'm really thankful here in Hong Kong, things are not all shut down. Um, they handled the situation from the get-go. I think it's because they lived through SARS. They were a little bit more prepared, well, a lot more prepared than the Western world, even though the Western world had like two months to figure things out. But, um, so I'm very thankful here, things aren't shut down yet. Um, you know, there's a lot of events and things are canceled. Um, school is still closed, everybody's working from home. But um, for the most part, you know, we can still go out to dinner. If you saw my stories, then you know that I did go out to dinner last night. Oh my God, I literally told you guys what to do and then I forgot. We need to add the dehydrated vegetables. <laughs> Let me put my phone down. If you guys have any questions, by the way, like feel free to shoot them out. I'll try and answer them as I go. So see, you can add the dehydrated vegetables in here. And Crosby is, Crosby's growling. I don't know what you're doing, bud. He, he likes to hang out under the table. Oh, there's my timer. Alexa, stop. Um, so he likes to hang out under the table and hope that food drops. Um, I'm let, I'm located in mid levels. Like, yeah, I really feel. I mean, I you I was in New York. Um, if you follow me, you know that I was in New York right before all the craziness happened. Um, and so I was very thankful to get out of there before shit went down. But I'm feeling for you guys. Like, it is rough. That's part of why I wanted to do this, so that you know, just to give you guys a little bit something else to keep you occupied in this quarantine time. So, the best way to taste noodles texture is to give it a bite. So I'm gonna just try one. Alexa, stop. Ooh. Mmm. 
Yeah, those are perfect. So what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna drain it. If you are using chapaghetti, because, woo, because the noodles that I'm using has this liquidy sauce, um, it has some liquid. If you are using chapaghetti, then you need to save some of this water because you're gonna use it to combine the sauces. Hong Kong is, I mean, people are going out, like you can go to bars and things. Um, us personally, we aren't right now just because they had a little bit of a spike in cases from people who were traveling abroad and then came back. So a lot of people, for example, when things were going down, they went to Europe to try to escape from coronavirus. And then Europe obviously is now super contaminated. So now they've come back um, to Hong Kong and they kind of brought coronavirus with them, which is awesome, right? But uh, so we are personally like staying home a little bit more. Um, we need to cancel some plans, cancel some brunches, but you know what? Everything is canceled this year and we just have to live with that. I think, you know, health and our lives are like way more important than being able to, you know, go to a, like a concert every once in a while. So I think that that's just something that we all have to live with. So now we are going to make the beef. So, oh yeah, definitely taking the precautions. Like I don't want to die. <laughs> So, uh, normally if you cook this, I'm cooking this with this like induction burner. So I only have this one out here. Uh, but normally, normally when you cook this, you can cook the beef and the noodles at the same time. What I have next to me is some oil. This is just regular canola oil and some butter. So what we're gonna do is we're going to heat up the oil and the butter and melt the butter. And this is what we're gonna cook the beef in. It's gonna be super delicious. And the reason I'm using butter is because honestly, butter makes everything better. <laughs> but also, because I'm using a cheaper cut of beef, instead of a super marbled, you know, expensive cut of beef, um, I'm using the butter to add that fat back in. And we are gonna let this kind of, you want it to start to foam like that. like. Oh, I wish you could smell this. And once it's really foaming, we're gonna add in our beef. Come on. Like, look at that. And so we wanna make sure that all of the beef is sitting in the butter. And we want to just basically let it sit there. So if you were making your noodles at the same time, like you can, you know, let this sit here and then um, put your noodles in. So the timing kind of works out. And we're gonna let this kind of, I don't want to touch it because I want it to start to form a really nice crust on the beef. But I mean, look at it. It's, it smells amazing. It's just, what more can you want? Um, any other questions for me while we're cooking this beef? Sorry, let me scroll back to make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm. Um, this is just a, I don't even know. I just I found this induction burner at like a store. I think it's Japanese, <laughs> but any induction burner would would work. I like to use this for hot pot. All right, so we're gonna flip this. So look, look at it. You start to get that like color on the beef. I'm gonna let these even sit a little longer. I really want to get that. Nice caramelization. Uh, yeah, this is electric, it's just plugged in. Um, to be honest, I would prefer if I had like a little gas thing. Oh my God, like, look at this. 
That's what you want. Okay, so we're gonna flip all of these over. I need a sizzle. So good. I am back in Hong Kong. Um, I was just, all right, so I can just talk a little bit more. So I think somebody asked if people are going out. Um, yeah, it's a mix. Like some people refuse to leave their place. I think when it first started, so just to get perspective, like it's been here since January. Um, I'm gonna just start. Oh my God. Like, hello. How good does that look? If you wanna make sure this is evenly cooked. So yeah, the coronavirus has been in Hong Kong since January. We've been living through this. Um, I think schools have been closed since January. Um, oh my God, look at this piece. Uh, this is just canola oil and then I mix in some butter because I love butter. <laughs> look at all this. This looks good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain out just a little. I want to keep most of this butter in or a lot of, look at that color on this sauce. It's just, that's a lot of oil. So I'm going to just drain a little of it out. Oh, let's hope I don't lose. This is hard to do one-handed. Ah! All right, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, let me get that piece back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our noodles right in. Come on. All right, well, let me add the sauce. I'm gonna add this whole thing in. Again, if you have chapagetti, then you would add in some of the water, that the noodle water. But you can see this is like a kind of thick black bean sauce. And we're gonna use the entire thing. And then the seafood packet, we're gonna add about half of it. Um, that's good. So just to show you guys. Um, you can see this, so we're gonna stir this all up. And this is what's gonna give it if you saw my video on my my feed, then this is what's gonna give it that nice color. And I do gain weight. I have to work out like crazy. Thankfully, my body is able to like go back and forth, so I my weight fluctuates a lot. Um, so in New York, I gained like ten pounds, but then when I came back to New York and or came back to Hong Kong and ate some salads, like I lost the 10 pounds. So <laughs> it's kind of goes like back and forth. So look at, you can see this color. Oh, thanks Mike. That's my husband in the other room. Um, hi from London. Hi, Betty. So yeah, look at these noodles. Look. Amazing. This looks good. It's you want to make sure it's fully combined. And now we're gonna plate it into this bowl. And this bowl, this awesome ceramic bowl, was made by by my friend Val. Her account is Hungry Moscow. I'll add it to this thing. She does amazing ceramics. And whenever we get out of this mess, um, hopefully she can make more stuff and you should buy it because you should support your local creatives. And one thing you can do, it's optional. I love scallions, so wait, let me make sure, let me try and plate this a little better. Bring this to the light, like look at how good that looks. And again, that took what, like not a lot of time at all. I don't know how long, but maybe 10 minutes. Uh, it's even faster if you can cook the beef and the noodles at the same time since, um, yeah, since obviously you will cut your time in half. But yeah, look at these noodles. Make sure all that beef is showing. And how much beef you use is obviously up to you. Like, I'm actually, <laughs> believe it or not, trying to cut down on my meat consumption. So when I don't eat beef like this, I'm eating like tofu and lots of plant-based food. Um, but I treat myself to beef every so often. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I like to add 
scallions, so I went ahead and already chopped them. So I'm gonna add some scallions. I actually think this might be chives, but whatever. <laughs> it's what I was able to find at the supermarket. So there it is. I am going to try this for you guys, but first I'm gonna take some photos of it, and I thought it might be fun to show you guys. So you guys will soon see this on your feed. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, look how good does that look? And then um, to show you guys how I do the noodle pull shots, since this is touch screen, I'm going to I'll do it this way actually. Uh, since my light is over here, I'm going to shoot this way so that I'm going to be backlit, but the noodles will not be backlit. And so, um, because this, this camera shoots with like a, if you care, it shoots with an f2.8, which is going to blur out the background. So all of my phone and all this stuff in the background will get blurred out. Um, so we'll do a little ooh, noodle pull. And I like to also always make sure that the beef is in the front. So we're gonna move it so that all the beef is showing in the front. And then the noodles are piled high. And I literally hold my, cam my, my camera with my left hand like this. And then I touch the screen to take the photos. Cool, okay. So now that that's done, let's try it. Do a little, you know, it's Korean, so it's only, it's only appropriate that we do a little bit of a mukbang. Uh, just so it's clear, I'm also, it's also like 9.30 a.m. here, so um, this is my breakfast. <laughs> I hope that if you're in the rest of the world, if it's later in the day, that you're drinking wine or, you know, that's what I'd be doing right now, quarantine. Honestly, I'd be drinking wine right now, but we ran out. <laughs> We need to stock up. So here's the noodles. Um, let's do a whoo, big old bite of noodles. Mmm. So good. Mm, my lens is, um, it's a 17 to 55. So it can go, oh my god. The steak. Not to like toot my own horn or anything, but I cooked it very, very well. It's like buttery. Yeah, the bowl, if you scroll up, my friend posted it's Hungry Moscow is who made it. Hopefully she can get out of quarantine. We can all get out of quarantine soon and she can um, make more. Mmm. Mmm. So it's a little bit... I mean, I love black bean. It has like super deep flavor. Mmm. The buttery beef. It's quite tender. <laughs> this lipstick is Bite Beauty. Um, is This color is, I think, brandy. Yeah. I also really love their red velvet color. Those are like the only two lipsticks that I wear. Crosby is literally, let's get him out of here. Crosby is literally hiding underneath the table, hoping that, come on, come back. Hoping that something falls to the ground. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, he's gonna try to eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, it's not really spicy. There's like a little bit of heat, but um, it's up to you. So the nayuguri is what I'm gonna. I literally just dump noodles all over them. The nayuguri is what's gonna give you the um spice. So I only do just like half of this because it's quite salty. Um, but it's very delicious. If you want it to be spicier, 
Um, so Mukbar, if you saw my other post about these noodles, uh, a place in Chelsea Market called Mukbar, ugh, they're closed right now, sadly, with everything going on. But what they do, they actually add their own homemade, <laughs> their own homemade chili oil to it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Um, do you guys have any other questions for me? Let's see. Yeah, the, so, Hong Kong, like, the barbecue pork, the char siu, the rice, the duck, it's so amazing, you can get it so cheap. Mmm, what would make these taste bad? Bananas? I don't know, like, any, I mean, it's an Asian noodle dish, right? I think if you added any dish that you typically find in a stir fry, it would be good if you want to add peppers if you want to add more onions um you could add vinegar would probably be really good um this is a lot of noodles it's two packs of noodles i'm gonna eat half of this and then my hus husband is gonna eat the other half um yeah i i mean i make a, a a decent living i i am very happy with the money that i earn to be completely honest right now i mean everyone is hurting um I don't really, I'm not, you know, I'm not certain about my future and, you know, a lot of the the money that I used to get was, comes from events. So a brand would hold, like, let's say they're launching a new product, they would hold a big event that the public can go to, right? Um, those are all canceled, so I'm not as certain about the future. Um, hopefully things still... I don't know people are always going to be in social media, especially with quarantine. So hopefully there's still campaigns and things. But yeah, I'm Filipino, but I used to live. I'm born in Jersey and then I lived in New York for 10 years and now we live in Hong Kong. Mm. So good. You're like nice and chewy. Really good. Um, Any other questions before I... I am 100% Filipino, but I look Chinese, I know. Maybe somebody, like, one of my ancestors banged somebody who's Chinese, but according to my mom, I'm 100% Filipino. Mm. My husband works in finance. I'm incredibly, incredibly thankful that he has a stable job. He is what, he's the reason we moved out to Hong Kong. There are a lot of people who, a lot of expats, so people who left their home countries um, to work in finance here, so. Mm. Mm. This dish is called Ram Don, aka, the original Korean name is Japaguri. And the reason it's called that is because you combine Chapagetti and Neoguri, so you get Chapaguri. Uh, but in the movie Parasite, they call it Ram Don because you're combining ramen and udon. Um, you know, just all those compound words. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna post this on my feed eventually. Um, and I'm also going to post on YouTube. And there's also a number, I've posted about this twice now, I think. One to announce, one to announce this live and then another one for a restaurant called Mukbar that makes them from scratch. Um. I live in Hong Kong. I just come back. To, I live in Hong Kong. I just come back to the U.S. pretty regularly. Mmm. Oh my God. This steak is so good. All right. Any other questions? Otherwise, I'm gonna finish this off and sign off. But this is so fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've always what inspired me. Like I've always loved food. Like you guys can probably tell my passion for food. I was bored one night, started a food blog nine years ago, um, and then it kind of just blew up, and I'm super, super thankful to have you guys that I'm able to, like, do this for a living, so. Um, Hong Kong, it was honestly not that difficult. I think the hardest part was that I had built, like, a life. I had friends and family in New York, so I'd say the, the biggest adjustment was making friends, but now I'm very happy to have, um, you know, it's... The good thing for me, at least, is that Hong Kong is so much like New York. It's a city, so I didn't have to, like, 
you know, that part was, was, was nothing to get, look at these noodles, that part was easy to adjust to, but, um, yeah, I'd say that I'm loving here, like, the access to nature and hiking and beaches, it's, like, unparalleled, and when we can travel again, Hong Kong is super close to all the Asian countries, so, um, it's super easy to travel around, so that's been the, probably my favorite part of living here, traveling around Asia, going to Japan, like, Oh, hopefully we can all travel soon, but for now, um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Hopefully you're okay in your quarantine. I did eat it. I, I can't talk and eat, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to sign off and finish eating this. So thank you so much for joining. Um, stay safe. Lots of love. Positivity. We'll all get through this. Bye. All right. So that was super fun. I haven't done a live cooking demo before, but I think it went pretty well. I uh, hope you guys, if you watched, enjoyed it. Yeah. Here's the final noodles. Oh, my God. I mean, look at that. Oh, they look so good. Um, yeah, these are freaking delicious. I just love them. You can keep making them. Mm. So deep in flavor, the black bean. Salty. Mmm. A little bit spicy. So good. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. You know what to do.